y'all boy, it's your boy Cutty Slim, the host of Cutty Case and the Kickback Podcast Show. This is season two, episode one. In the back, like I love something. The new beginning on y'all ass. With Cracker Lady with her brother Tibbs. And as y'all see, I got two ladies with me right now. These are my guests of the show. They're from the podcast show. <laughs> Hope this helps. Gary. <laughs> Gary. Hope this helps Gary. It's Nico KMA, aka TGB, Bam. aka T Jizzle, aka whatever you want to call me. Some people know me as Nakia, uh, representing for Hope This Helps Gary podcast, and we're doing it like this. Mine ain't even gonna be this long. It's Miss Awesome. But <laughs> uh, awesome. so you don't have to be so formal. You can call me Awesome. Awesome. I just feel like find, I need you to find me almost everywhere. Miss underscore Awesome to you or Hannah Thompson on Facebook. Righteous, righteous. And while we're talking about finding you everywhere, I want y'all hit that subscribe button on my channel on YouTube, Cut the Slim, the Kickback Podcast. Also, hit the bell. But every time I do a fucking show and load it up, you get notified. You get notified. And like, like I said, uh, this is episode, the first episode of season two, man. Everybody give a cut for this shit, man. Yeah. It's our first time being guests on a show. It's cool, it's cool, it's cool. I was gonna say, I wasn't trying to give a long name, I just felt like I had to when he gave out the name. They don't like this shit already. You got blue cups, you know, you're back with the blue cups. They didn't give me a break. As you see, it snaps up to the left or to the right or whatever. You can see we got the, it's the kickback podcast. Do the camera see the food? Do the camera see the stuff? I don't know. I mean, come on, Steven Spielberg, where you at? They got the uh, wings. Hey, Steven Spielberg. Uh, we, 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 got the, we got the food, we got the fries. The, the chef, he had left. The chef oh, left. The chef. The chef left because Steve was not right with his wife. <laughs> you know, it was nice. You know, he to sit around. The chef left. So come in, you motherfucker. Come in, there's a skip, it's a kickback, man. You can be as big as anybody. Don't tell them. George Bush might pop up in this bitch. Who knows? You never know, man. Come in. George Bush doesn't like black people. He doesn't. We don't like black people either. Uh-huh. You don't? You don't like niggas or black people? We like, we like niggas. We like niggas. Uh-huh. Tell oh, me yeah. Who is this? Huh. I forgot. I'm lost. Oh, Chad. Okay. It's a nigga from my hood. That's my seat park. What was this? No, sorry. I need my Sprite, Coca-Cola, Coke, cocaine, everything. Came here and brought drinks. Chad. Yeah. yeah. I added the beat. Came here and came here and drinks. <laughs> came here and also drinks. Right. Okay. Jay, we just came. We just came. We just did. Came. Came. Uh, coming and making an entrance. I'm not good at acting. Making entrances. Coming and making entrances. Goddamn. Don't put me on the spot. Anyone make entrances. This is what it stands for. Okay. Because I ain't been. Don't put me on the spot for acting. Wait a minute. But does anyone make entrances? I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't live my life like that. I can't live this hour like that. I'll be all the way up to me trying to figure out. Hit that bitch and we gon' call. 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 Hit that bitch and we gon' Motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to King George TV. We back like we love some y'all. Like I said, it's season two, episode one. Your boy Cutty Slim. Cutty came to the Kickback Podcast Show. And for y'all new viewers and y'all new listeners and new watchers that just tuning in to this show, y'all know what y'all know what we're about. We're gonna tell y'all what we're about. The podcast is about relaxing, kicking back, being yourself, man. We don't be a we don't care about you being opinionated, because we're not that hated. We don't want you to sit there and debate with us for an hour about what we think and what you think. What I want you to do, express your opinion, we're going to understand it, or we don't understand it, we're going to get on your ass, we're okay, we're going to get on somewhere else too, we're not going to debate for another 30 minutes. It's all about understanding somebody's opinion, we're going to keep back and relax, like I said. Uh, also, I can never, uh, I'm not going to get mad at an opinion, and I will never argue with a fact. It's just one thing about me, and this is the podcast it's all about. I'm all about putting people on the platform that they can be on. And this platform is a sling shot you to the next person, you know what I'm saying? I'm not no person who's trying to, you know, interview uh, Jay-Z or Beyonce. Hope I can, but if I don't, oh well. I want the up-and-coming artist, the person who's going to pop up next month, or next year, or whatever. Uh, shout out to King George TV, he's on the rise too. We're going to ride their wave with people like us. Also, this podcast show, this is what I do the podcast for. And uh, you don't like it, we tell you to scram. <laughs> scram, bitch. In other words, go fuck yourself. Right. And, uh, and so, ladies, I've been having to have y'all on the show, man. I'm having y'all on the show. You've been on last episode. 
uh, things didn't go right because I had a lot of family issues going on. My cousin had to bury her back home. And now y'all back on the show. Uh, y'all back to get on the show. Right. Happy to have y'all on the show. Anything y'all want to talk about tonight? Anything been bothering y'all? What's up? Pause. Ain't nothing been bothering us because you got, we, we on your show. So we don't want to come on here and be like, oh, we got some topics. Or well, let, let us talk about this shit. We got so uh, I got a question, man. Y'all want to be like this then? Uh, we'll follow your lady. So, uh, what made y'all start a podcast? Well, we was... I know you was going for shit with a dude. Yeah, okay, so... <laughs> not, not, not no shit like that. Y'all want pause? Pause. Pause. I'm going to let you get that one up. I didn't know what I did. Make it out. Make it out. Cut it out. Cut it out. Cut it out. Cut it out. I did it on birth. No, she wasn't doing something with a dude. I was she on a show with another guy. Okay, yeah. So I was on another hip hop show uh, with a guy, but okay. me and Miss Awesome had already been talking about doing our own uh, show prior to me getting set up with him. He just had hit me up first around the time that we was talking about doing it. We just hadn't kind of fully jumped after to do it. So they okay. gave me a. a I ain't gonna say that mean initiative, it just made me kind of want to do my own thing and made me want to do it with somebody that kind of knew what my vision was because he had a vision, but I also had my own vision. I ain't gonna lie though. I ain't gonna lie. Before I even knew you and that dude had a little show going or whatever, I used to watch your gram and uh, your, 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 we've been Facebook friends for yeah. years. By the way, me and, me and Nico have been knowing each other for years. Yeah. She knew me for oh, this 2018. It's been a she been knowing me since 2009. She been my name, man. She, she watched me get. She we got a story. We gonna take it. <laughs> anyway, though, it's a, four, it's a four in the morning story. Six in the morning. Six, Six in, in the morning. The morning. Hey. Hey. But anyway, there's another story right there. Uh, but yeah, I knew she had podcast mentality way before I even knew she had a show right. with this dude. So I used to listen to a little, like she would do little rants. videos and like little rants and shit and little skits and shit. And I'm like, I like your character. And it was during the time where I think I just came home from the pen, and uh, uh, I was still working on my. I'm a rapper. Yeah. I'm a rapper first. So I'm, I'm, I did you this You had the uh, Cuddy, the album you gave me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I, I came out with the album back in the time. Ice Cold Chillin'. Yeah, Ice yeah, Cold Chillin'. Yeah, yeah, I still yeah, remember yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. So you can still find this, this shit on iTunes. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's on every day. You can just Google my name. Uh, but anyway, uh, I. I I came home and I started working on my second album and I stopped doing this shit like in the middle of my album. I was like, somebody told me to do a podcast. You see, I, 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 I yeah, got that time. Yeah, you have it. You own 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 it. You my body, I started doing a podcast, the Ian Gleason Show, the Our Radio. They asked me to be a guest on the show. I came on there and started talking. About, that was the third time I was on there, I was a cast member. Right. And so that's what. How did they? How did you even hook up with him? Just, you, know, you, know, you know, you hang out in high places, you meet people, and it's just you know. See, think about it, man. You know me. Uh, I, 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 I diverse my my wife. I'm the I'm like I'm the type of dude. You got me out for game bangers, one hour, the next hour with some right. white collar white boys. Right, yeah, rising is just out of man. Who listen to motherfucking uh, Led Zeppelin or some shit like right. that. So, exactly. uh, I always been that way, yeah. but I hang out at, play I don't hang out at clubs, so I go to bars. You can meet people that know people that know people that know people. Mm -hmm. It's just better access to what you need to have. Or they talk to me. And I mean, you've been, ever since you know me though, I've been tending to certain bars and stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. I've been out that club shit a long time. If I'm not performing, I don't go to the club. So uh, I, I came home in 2012, and I was a big deal on Beltline, you know, on that just Addison period. And uh, shout out to niggas living in Addison, though. Niggas don't get Addison. My address is Addison. You know, my, <laughs> niggas can't stay in Addison, though. But I mean, I stay in Addison. You know what I mean? Yeah, doing that shit. But anyway, uh. <laughs> I, I met a dude, man, like Ian Gleason, man. We hung out for like a year, man. That he name is familiar. He's, a, he's, he's been an actor. He's from Brooklyn. That's what I know. Best Eye. Okay. He's an Irish guy from okay. Best Eye. And, uh, he's a an actor. And he, he got, he, Lexington Terry, they hired him on iHeartRadio. He moved down here. They bought him an apartment down here. You know, got him down here. And uh, after being around me a year, he like, fuck it. I want to have you on my show. 
and we have them to show up. Episode 69, the Ian Gleason Show, is on every link you can check. And I, that was my first debut, and then four episodes later, boom, I started getting the fans off his page. And his shit's worldwide, 90 countries, 50 states. Right. So like, his shit's worldwide, so I got motherfuckers that, that there's people from Instagram. Hey. When a chick from motherfucking Switzerland laughing at quoting somebody stay on the show, that just made my nuts this big. I was gonna say, she wanted that black dick. Mm -hmm. I said, bitch, I got a raspy ass accent. How the fuck you understood what I said? That bitch typed this shit right. She heard it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 People will buy my song for 99 cents off iTunes to, or whatever other case buy for 69 cents or 89 cents or 99 cents or dollar twenty nine. But they'll come back two weeks later and buy that shit the whole album. So they buy they buy a song and they turn around by the whole fucking album. But most of them motherfuckers, guess where they were from? Italy. Austria. Not Australia, Austria. Another country, like, like places like that. You right. your own yeah. 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 They, yeah. they, they weren't even from over here. Like I look at my, my iTunes account. And I was saying, and, and I put my album out, I put my shit on iTunes. Nine months later, I got came out with it. You remember that shit? Mm -hmm. I had like 9,000 copies. I said, I'm sure like, I had the CD. She got the original copy. She yeah. still got it. <laughs> I'm talking about, we yeah. did our own print and everything. You know? yeah. Well, it's right here. <laughs> well, I was going to say, when you mentioned that about, <laughs> you were saying oh, that it was special. Go ahead, Slim. He said, "Don't cut people out." Do you want to no, get the turn on? No, no, no. I like that. I like that. You need to be a co-host. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like that. Y'all can do co-host whenever y'all want to. But we gonna scram on this guy here on the dot like Mark. Like Mark used to open the door on the show. Mark used to open the door on the show. Get your step in. Step in. We just gonna say scram. Scram, scram. But I was saying, you were saying that the Switzerland people be into you. And that's what made. But I already think you understand the kickback podcast. I was already talking about this shit during the Olympics 2016. My boy that runs track for the Olympics, he was the, he was the, the dude that owned our record label, Ray Mazzini, that was shot to him. The oldest sprinter that could beat in the Olympics 2016. Evidently, he didn't make it because he tried out for Nigeria because he got a Nigerian citizenship, even though he's American. Uh, but they, 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 it's a political thing went on, so I hit Ray up, I said, let's start a podcast. He said, what's up, done with that? I said, we're going to do it when you come back, we're going to call it the happy hour. Mm -hmm. For one hour, they're going to call it the happy hour. We're going to talk about the most disturbing shit for one hour. And we're going to take a shot every 10 minutes. God damn. Damn. And we, just, and we don't care because we both are outspoken. Ian. So Ian, Ian felt that whole thing. And Ian was like, OK, let's do this shit. And so uh, we, every time we met up with Ian, Ray will bring his girl or whatever and they'll be into it and the shit won't go right. Yeah, I said that shit. Fuck it. That's the kickback. Fuck that. Scram, Shout out to the uh, Scram Girl Ram Award. Scram Girl Ram Award. He was disturbed himself. Right. Why would you bring it up, right? Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, right. God damn. Yeah, you right. couldn't see that shit? Right, Charles. So then, right, Charles. Ian, Ian probably said, say, man, how about I just deal with you, dude? Come on the show, man. It was my, it was my birthday, October the, si oh, October the 1st, 2016. My first show that would be on the mic. And all of a sudden, I came out of the kickback. And Ian went out of town one day, like 2017. Went out last year, went out of town one day, went to Orlando. And my old boy, Rico Bobby, who's on the end, he's a show, my former kickback podcast host. Why y'all ain't going somewhere? He's he back now, he's back like he left. So my boy had to go somewhere and get rejuvenated, he's he good. He's back now. He's good, he just came back last week. Okay. He's good, he's good, he's good. But anyway, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> y'all crazy. Anyway, shot with Bobby. He might pop up now. He might pop up now. He might pop up? Uh, he might pop up. 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 He might pop uh, he gonna see this shit. He gonna think about it. Of course he is. I don't hide shit. I already said I don't hide shit for nobody. Fuck that shit. Let you get mad by And I don't care. I'm gonna hide that. Scram. 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 Scram.
Cash <laughs> about mine. Cash is really about mine. Man, I'm not saying it's crazy. But, uh, oh, shout out to my boy, man, from New York, man, uh, my boy, uh, Taz. Yeah. My boy, Easy, man. I got some other artists up here, man. I think they hey. Easy represent what? Four, four, four? What you say? <laughs> 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 What's up, my video? Uh, oh, the four. 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 They was set tripping when I came in. Okay. I mean, all the way to the touch side down. So he was six foot, right? The Ferguson, right? Yeah, six foot. Yeah. 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 I know about that. I used to live on Ferguson, man. Okay. And, like, and a lot of dudes, like, tell me to roll to 60, so they used to be like, oh, you down with us. I'm like, how am I down with y'all? I'm like, I never heard of six foot, like a six foot in Pala, right. but now, you know, you know what that means. Go back, yeah. go back, you know where I'm from. But <laughs> back then, now I know I like them guys because they down with their role in the 60s, you know. So shout out to niggas from Ferguson, man. Shout out to Dipsy when they down. That great big dude that about. God, you hear me talking about. And Blue Mason Part 2, I like that shit. Mr. Lee, shout out to Blue Mason Part 2, nigga, that's my, that, I had that shit on my about because we're gonna keep on cutting you out. I ain't cut, I'm admin. I'm admin. I'm admin, but I know y'all. I want to see so I can know what, you know, if this ain't. I leave. That's what I thought we were doing. That's what I thought we were doing. That's what I thought we were doing. It's the kickback. We ain't got no script. It's the kickback. It's the kickback. That's how we come. It's the kickback. I see it works. So we're doing good right now. This is about the best. This is about the best. This is about the best. I like this. This is about the best. But it's, it's, it's season two, y'all. It's season two up in this episode why one, right? Why you talking about it? Season two. And y'all go check out the episodes on YouTube and follow him. Listen to the episodes. Get the t-shirt. Scram. If you don't get that, you know, if you don't, scram. But also, though, I got it in the summertime. Y'all know my other word is I got the righteous shirts coming for y'all. Hashtag oh, righteous. I and I got the hashtag cut the case coming for y'all too at the same time. I was gonna ask you what's righteous your word, cause y'all no, ain't supposed to. Righteous. 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 Everything is righteous, Ryan. Right? But like I said, I support other podcast people too, though, man. I'm not just gonna have just rappers and artists on here. I'm gonna have other podcast people. If you're a camera guy, you're a model, anybody. I want you on the show. You got something going on. You got something to say. So. I want everybody on the show, man, and uh, I, I support. This show, y'all, I support people, man. I ain't reached out for a rapper. I went out to another podcast. We appreciate it, man. And I want y'all to watch this podcast. We got a rapper, though. We got uh, we don't want to the podcast. It's the podcast. No, no, no. We gotta get. What you said? You want up and coming artists? We you want up and coming artists? So we gotta shout out to Doobie D. Go go look at the video. Go get the like and Speaking of upcoming artists, how about Dallas? Dallas got a new single out. What y'all do about these rappers in Dallas, though? That's what we talking about. I'm coming for Sean. Hold on, I'm coming for Sean. You on here, Oakland? Do we need? Go get them straight out the D. Uh, go watch the video straight out the D on YouTube. That's the and new, go get. That's the new, new uh, Dallas anthem. The new yeah, Dallas. We're trying to make it the Dallas anthem. And get like a fling on everywhere. We just gotta give her a shout out real quick. Okay, cool, cool. She's the female. You want her out at John Wayne? But when you heard, no, no, it ain't for the ladies though. It's for this shit ain't for the ladies. When you heard that shit, who else? That Nico. Who else? Who else? I can only shout out somebody that I know. I don't really. Give them all of this. You can give out everybody. You can have a Mo Three. I'm gonna say I fuck with Mo Three. Y'all ain't going like that. I fuck with Freddie. Yeah, 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 yeah,
But we better get on some shit that been going on lately. So, uh, my first thing is, uh, Jacket the dude for uh, what is the name of the country uh, coming to America? <laughs> he was an uh, okay. He had the fucking line around his fucking face. Good. Uh, the moon. Yes, the moon. What is that? The moon. What are you trying to get to? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the same, the same nigga that had the fucking the moon outfit on, so yeah. pro pro black. Fuck around. Two weeks later, nigga, he Irish as a motherfucker. He know the name like a bitch. So, bro, he was fighting out he Irish. He was a bro, black, righteous, uh, Wakanda, black panda to fucking Irish. How the hell you do that shit? Y'all can't do that, man. Just don't do that. Just pick one and cheer. Yeah. If you want to do Irish, do it. It's not Halloween. Why you gotta dress up in the well, people dressing up, I feel like what it was. I've never seen nobody dress up for a movie. They was being hype beats though. That's what all people, this is what kind of made me mad about it. That's what, that's what, what it did, it helped market the movie and it's good, but at the same time, it's like, niggas, y'all don't, you, you're going too far. I don't care about you dressing up, but when people's like, I'm a, I'm changing and I'm going to be this person, <laughs> nigga, you changed for one week after you seen the film. I have an I, accent. That's what I'm saying. You no, had to ask no, him no, for three no, hours. No, 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 a rapper being a blood is like saying you woke now. Everybody want to be a blood, it's a rapper. And everybody want to be woke, it's black. They got an afro, natural, whatever. I don't know. I've been aware. Is that a slogan? I don't know. I hope it's hollow tip. Why is that a natural? I hope it's hollow tip. Fuck it. No, but I'm giving my grandma award to all of the natural people that just wear like a pound of makeup. You want to get that scrap award real quick. I'm just a scrap award. You said that. Yeah, I hope this helps, Gary. Hope this helps, Gary. Hope this shit helps, man. Hope this shit helps. Shit, bro. 
Well, like we were saying, though, uh, saying uh, uh, we were talking about Black Panther, but since that case, we were talking about movies, and what y'all think about Monique old bitter ass? <laughs> why, do you, why are you calling her bitter? Because she's better than the She's bitter. I think she went to, I think she, she I think you, it's okay she's for you to think that you deserve something, but you why don't you protest just show for your personal problem, bitch, right. Fuck wrong with you. Right. Did you kill, who's gonna boycott Netflix when you Yeah, you gonna win it, boss, bitch, I don't got Netflix, I got a fire stick, bitch. What's wrong with you, hell? I can't even walk out of shit. And my shit jail broke. Well, I don't my think shit, I was going to... My shit prison broke. <laughs> my shit got so much shit going on. I just think that she just went the... She took the wrong approach. Like, wrong you can feel like you're worth so much, but why don't you show them that? Scram. Show them first. Well, first of all, she's so dumb, she got so mad, right? She didn't even... <laughs> <laughs> I, look. Hey, 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 hey. Y'all got... Don't do... Don't laugh at me. Don't do... That when I'm drinking, cause I will spit my drink out yeah. on camera. On we camera ain't used to, we ain't used to being on camera. Okay? It's, not, it's not entertainment. It's not. It's, it's not. It's, it's like, hey, 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 we gotta have entertainment. Let's go. This is my thing. Hi, what I was saying. This, this shit made me. Hello, my love. <laughs> Hello, my love. She want me to stay on Monique. I'm gonna get on Monique. I ain't I mean, no you ain't fucking with Monique, boy. I'm not fucking with her at all. I just feel like words are our dad. Bitch, I don't know you like that. She's so fucking. Ask your friend. She's so impatient, right? She didn't even try to counter negotiate. Right. Her husband didn't because her husband yeah, didn't. Yeah, he said that her stupid. Daddy. He could have been there saying, he could have been there saying, baby, daddy. just, you that, know that, what, that, actually. That, 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 what you think about that, daddy? You, you know, know what, you know what, you know what, you know what, you know what, Tell her we need fat Luther back, we need fat Monique back. I miss that. Fuck that shit. Monique back. Shout out to this great Luther. Don't be acting like Luther in there, though. He's dope. She ain't another thousand pounds, and she ain't tripping now. Somebody said she was hungry. Fuck that. They said she was hungry. She ain't even got no money. 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 Negotiate. They said five hundred thousand. You got mad. She didn't know that he didn't count on negotiate. Well, he should have told her before she went further and better herself. Before she look at her, you know what? Actually, yeah, I never. You just want to do what? You want to do what? You want to do what? You want to do what? She don't need that. I feel like she should have made a big deal. I feel like she should have had the audacity to tell somebody else to protest something that she ain't even on yet. But she is a comedian. in The video was. Well, not like over exaggerated, but she. Uh, uh, it's it's part, 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 it's Yeah, you know the clown ass people you meet. 
Everybody call him Captain. Everybody call him Captain. Okay. What you want to tell him? Wait, no, hold on. Y'all tell him. I feel like y'all trying to make Monique have some breathing room, right? No! no. Have you, know why we, you know why we stressed out? Because we've been talking. We had on our podcast. Right quick, right? So we go we go on our little breaks, but we've been talking about this shit on our podcast. Like, we done gave her, we done gave her a black China. We done got all these motherfuckers up out of here already. So we know we just trying to say that. Hey, man, you know, you shouldn't even say that name. We coming for you, Black China. Are you gonna yeah, get the scramble Ten more men will be at your ass. Uh, Monique, back at your ass. Uh, so instead of saying, okay, here's five hundred thousand dollars, forget about it. Yeah, that's how I feel. 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 A show on Netflix, you ain't did a show in ten years. You did Precious and shit. You lost ten thousand dollars. She did do a comedy show though, right? Okay, cool. But it doesn't matter. matter. The thing about it doesn't matter. She didn't even say, she didn't react and say, give me 1.5. She didn't say she nothing. Didn't know. She just went straight to the... She just went down and... Like, yeah, she didn't she know. Did. She didn't, then you're like, well, y'all gave her this much. Okay, well, that's her. We can because see what she's Because she sold out Madison Square Garden. Like, well, she didn't oh, put as much money... Amy oh, Schumer. Yeah, she didn't put as much money as I put. I put my yeah, own I money in. I feel like it don't right. matter. We just well, looking at the money that we don't get. This is what she should have did. I just so feel we, like it was worth it. I'm going to get on that in a minute. Who cares about the ratio? I feel, I feel You're like, tripping. I feel like she should have just took the five million <laughs> straight. Hell no. She should have took the five million straight. Thank you, sorry, about nothing else. Oh, what the hell are you talking about, old man? Yeah. Nah, I'm talking about what she said. We don't care about the ratio. Well, she really only made this much because she put in this much to the movie. It's like a hustler and bitch. You got five hundred grand. That ain't even said how much I made. That she don't even have. She ain't get a movie or a commercial. Stop saying she haven't did that, y'all. She on tour. Okay, <laughs> no, right, tour. So, she so, actually gonna be in Dallas next weekend. Right, and she so probably took less than five hundred thousand. I'm just talking to the nerve of you. Hey, I'm just the nerve of you. The nerve of you. No. <laughs> she, if she would have just took the five hundred grand and did the show and just get and hard on what she show her. And show what she worked, she would have created more right. money for that exactly. next episode. Next time I'm going to Amazon. Y'all ain't talking about nothing? I'm so good. Good. I'm gonna give you 50 it'll be, it'll be, oh, yeah. it'll be like a little different than if she right. was actually more doing stuff she at the same time. We, see you, we can too. see your easy, numbers. Easy. Now check this out though. Can, can she sell out Madison Square Garden like uh, Amy Schumer did? No. No. If you get I, the niggas together. No. Can she? I, I, <laughs> I, ten no. years ago when she was hot. Fat Monique. Would she have? she do it. Yeah. Hell yeah. No problem. Yeah. I think that she would have almost did it. No, she would have almost did it. So we're looking at, you, we looking at your numbers, though. How many? She want to say that Madison. Then, when she was Fat Monique, did she make it to Madison? That's the question. Did she make it there? Okay, so we can't even. We can't. No. We can't even go based on the right. history and be like, well, back in the day when she was on the uh -uh. before you didn't she even make it ball, there. She went, but she never did. So the moral of the story is, Monique, I'm not going to uh, boycott, boycott uh, Netflix. Oh, I don't even watch show. I'm, I watch YouTube. But I don't even watch it on TV. I, I, I use my TV to play my PS4. What's like, my What's my alternative exactly. though? I watch, you know, if a chick come over here and she wanna watch Netflix, she wanna watch Fire Stick and Dick, then what we do? She didn't even get Fire Stick and Dick. Y'all do Netflix and chill. Ain't gonna chill with no bitch. We doing Fire Stick and Dick around here. F A D. Fat. All the fat. All the fat is coming through in the place. Monique ain't even offering. She didn't even offer them. Alternative though, like fuck y'all, fuck Netflix. Uh, I'm going yeah, to Amazon, Monique, follow Monique. me there. She was just like, cool, no, cool. Just, just don't watch TV no more. Cool. And Monique, uh, your cable bill. We done, we done, we done, Monique, right now. I so, still won't so, be on that. So, uh, now we did that, uh, what is that? That light skinned ass nigga. Uh, he is block, Mexican. That nigga that blocked me on Instagram. DJ oh, DJ Envy. DJ Envy. <laughs> blocked me on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The camera blocked me on Instagram. I don't know why. I wish, we, I wish my producer could like show the segment of the Breakfast Club that happened last Thursday or went Thursday. <laughs> I wish you, I wish you could do that shit, George. I wish you could do that shit, man. Show the, show the, uh, was it last Thursday or Monday? One of them days. Anyway. George, I read the podcast. He got time to be taking notes. He got time to be taking notes. George, I'm chilling. Oh, he said kickback. Wait a minute. Did you 
Did you cut? You said this is a hit bag. Told you want to show yourself on the he said he wants you to get some clip. Only way I'm gonna show myself is my arm grabbing more chicken. I see you grabbing a couple chicken. We ain't gonna get we not gonna get no chicken. He just said we're gonna be eating chicken and shit. Chicken is I'm here. I'm gonna eat. Okay, you can eat doing it. Okay, black people eat chicken. You wanna eat doing it? You wanna eat? We'll wait. I know. I know. Okay. You ready? Nobody gave us nothing. I sat around. Then you gonna go and get a piece of chicken and eat us in front and eat it right in front of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come out of us. This I it though. George ain't gave me a damn no Ain't no one pie. He said right here like, yeah. <laughs> no, don't worry about it. Check it out. Don't worry about it. Let's get back focused though. Let's get back focused. Okay. Oh, what's y'all doing? Uh, hey, so my question is, did you I know you watched the episode. Yeah. I watched it. Well then I I'm not gonna really explain it because you know what we talking about? She probably know what you do podcast, right? right? You're a YouTuber. I know he knows. She ain't no YouTuber. She look, she look, they they she are the so you, They know everybody watch this shit. So what's your take on this? First of all, I didn't understand why DJ Emmy was so this bad. I was, and then he, what's up, DK and Pussy? What's up, DK and Pussy? And it was like that shit was so. No, it was like an elementary move, like me. Now you ain't. Listen, it's like Monique trying to spar with Dave Chappelle, right? I'm not gonna come into this fight being like Dick. First of all, Dick Why had it in There was some elementary school ass shit. Like when you first, like somebody right. tell me somebody you first learn cuss words. Like, pussy like, shit, bitch. bitch. You, you mother. Where my dad before? Pussy yeah. shit, bitch. No. You shit ass. You talked about when he said it, I thought he was joking because that's how much of a joke I took the fact that he used dickhead and pussy. Yeah, that was very disrespectful off top though, man. I wish mean, you would be like that. But so they had like they didn't know what was going on though, but they had a They do so many shows. They do so many shows. You don't know what you said on your show. Like like somebody had what somebody had said uh I had one episode, man, my boy Beezy, man, on the show he was bashing gay people. And just going off, okay. and I'm like, I, 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 I didn't even realize what he was saying until like two weeks later, somebody come in and it went off, and then somebody see me at the bar, and they were going off. I'm like, damn. So I went to watch the show again. I'm like, damn, yeah. baby, you was going off like a motherfucker, dude. I'm like, I thought it was good news to keep And I'm like, I'm like, damn. I'm like, B, you need to watch the show. I'm like, you, you got some against people that you shouldn't be saying like right. that. I said, people are not going to charge you and they charge me up. Right. So, I, I, you just got to watch. You don't know what you say, man. So, I just feel like <coughs> I didn't have a problem with him approaching them and, and going at them about disrespecting his uh, wife or whatever. He had to do it because she had um, said something. He got to make it. He had to do it better. Yeah, 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 that's true. But after they said, I'm sorry, man, my bad. Leave you, him. you went harder mm -hmm. once you see these bad. Yeah, like when they. I'm yeah, talking about he had to check the cop was hard. Nigga, go on, man. He ain't check the He was back. talking damn near like Birdman, though. Did you get yeah. it? He had a little slight crying in his voice. So, like, these he dudes told you sorry. He wasn't, but it was like, you shouldn't be checking somebody right now because <laughs> your voice ain't matching what you right. think. Man, my girl not. told me, come up for a tell you. Right. That's how you feel me. Here's the problem, though. Here's the problem. He put his wife on the platform to be noticed just like everybody else's wife. And, and That's hard though. When you put him uh, on the with the chick named Kardashian, uh, Beyonce's, yeah. and all the people that's married to the gay. Yeah. Or whatever like that. So he put your wife on the platform by having a podcast yeah. and being on episodes like The Real and shit. Yeah. But don't get mad when somebody joking about y'all shit because you, Ashley Yee, and Charlamagne joking about people's relationship for years. Right. Y'all want people wife and they mama and they daddy, somebody's mama, somebody's daughter, somebody's cousin, somebody's sister, every episode. <laughs> every day. Every day y'all did this shit for eight, nine years. So now when somebody do it to you, you think it's a problem. And that's why I felt like DJ Avery was being a pussy about this shit. Have you seen yeah. the episode of him talking with DJ Drummond? He had oh, a problem. Yeah, he had a problem with the He said they're quiet for a moment. And then, it's like what he doing is... He's sensitive as a girl. He's sensitive, but I understand. Light skin niggas. Light skin. But the thing about it... <laughs> look right. like Michael Jackson. But, what light skin niggas sitting over there. He ain't light skin like I'm, I'm tipping. Apparently, I'm tipping the scale. So I don't even... Mean, you ain't not even light skin. It's a different type of light. Like, he's more like red, like turkey. <laughs> Fuck you, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you what? Like, he got Damn. Indian in his family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got Indian in his family. He, he want no girls. He got niggas that got I'm ad libbing. That's all I got. You got a pair. You got, you got, you got, you got, you got, hold on, time out, time out. Time out. You got the black people who got white in their family. Then you got the black people who got Indian in their family. 
And he's the mother of y'all eating it. He's ready to go. That nigga went from cigarettes. No, I think DJ Envy, what his problem was, I think what his problem is when you're in that light, don't let the people see it. You know what I'm saying? If that's if that's what you're dealing with in your life, hey, don't let us see it. Y'all part of y'all man. Y'all part of the show, too, man. Why don't y'all come be on the camera, man? Y'all come? Y'all rapping dudes, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why y'all didn't come stay over here? Because we can't. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm asking questions. I'm I like you, don't you cool? I'm asking you. Y'all will be back, y'all. Y'all will be back. Y'all will be back. Y'all will come back, though, man. I got this shit, though. So, no, okay, DJ Envy. That's what I fuck about DJ Envy. Miss Awesome will come up. So, so uh, I'm just saying. While I'm. Hey, hey Joe. I want you to come. Uh, oh, somebody come. Hey, Slim. Come on down and show me. He wasn't right prepared. Right yeah. I gotta go pee pee. <laughs> we know how we know how man. We don't talk about DJ. You know what? I'm gonna go pee pee. You gonna come over, George? Come on, George. George's like, no, I'm headed to the kitchen. I'm gonna let her run it. I gotta go pee pee. Nah, I'm gonna So let's get that part. So did you have said DJ if he was a pussy? I'm trying to think of an acronym right now. What's the acronym? The acronym for pussy? Yes. Come on, get one. You gotta be quick. You gotta be quick. I got. I'm gonna get it, but I don't. I'm going to get it in a minute. I'll figure it out. What y'all, y'all, so you seen the interview? Nah. So you didn't even know what you were talking about? Nah, I ain't got You got the gist of it? Yeah. yeah. So what you think about it? You think he was prepared? Yeah, or he just didn't prepare himself? Or his girl just sent him in like that morning? She, she been, been giving him hell about it, it. Man, I'm not getting out of no rest. He got that whole night. That dude was since that shit came out. So you know, like, when you did your first, when you did your first appearance or your first show, you can tell you were on the line you played. Yeah. I ain't looking at that face, yo. He wasn't ready. He wasn't ready. That's all I got to say, man. He said, when he came on, he said, oh, so, all right, uh, you know, you know, it's the breakfast club. We got uh, this person. He didn't call a special guest. He was like, we got dig headed pussy, and this was like, damn, we ain't even listening to special. We got a guest. We don't know. Like, we don't know what did, man. It's like, nigga, we do four episodes. We do four episodes a week, nigga. We don't really know what we do. What is this? He was like, we got to hold it down. What is this? We got to hold it down. This is like, we're running out. Right, right. Like, you gonna show me what I said, too? We're running out. Yeah, we're running out of gear. Gary is somebody. <laughs> Nobody. So, this y'all got this y'all get to see that. Hey, y'all like it right here? Oh, he's talking about this in the mirror. All right. I got, 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 Oh. Right. I gotta say, okay, y'all, what y'all were talking about when I left? We were talking about Deezus and Mero. We didn't get off topic. Okay, no, no, I wasn't okay, trying to catch up with y'all. What happened? I was playing the clip. So he was playing the clip or whatever, and um, he was and like, he wants to run the clip, and Deezus was like, run the clip. <laughs> so when they ran the clip, they were still kind of joking, like, I'm just telling people that make us something better. Okay, run it. They was just still joking about it, and shit, and he just got up and walked out, like, in the middle he of the show. He walked out of the show. Why are you showing us the clip? You want to go say, like, you know the breakfast club show everything yeah, for dramatics. Yeah. Some people but think that they doing it strategically. The thing about it though, man, they been doing the thing. Nice. But I wouldn't even need to. Think about it. Yeah, what, what, what happened to DJ Envy? They've been doing it. Strategic marketing. Now all of a sudden you a story now because you put your wife on the platform. You Ooh. you uh you got a problem with somebody make a joke with you. They just like. That's why but you have to understand that when you're in that light, if people don't, they don't yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think it, I don't think he would have said it had it not been for his wife. Probably, because yeah. it brings it brings back that emotion. It well, he didn't have to have him on the show to respond to it. He should have just said, "I know, da 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 da." Yeah. And left it at that, because he didn't say anything. That's what that was, though. Somebody, uh, <laughs> but they people were saying that they have relationships. Yeah. But he didn't want to. He got the cut month. But he didn't say nothing, though. So what's the rules? What they said? I don't think I hit the cut. Right. What's he gonna do? He said no. He said no. We didn't tell you everything. He said no. I'm not even saying. You should have. I just feel like you should have been better prepared to be on it. <laughs> hey, hey. But no, no, I like, but, but it's like, funny though. Did uh, one more person come over here and do that to me? Do what? <laughs> Go ahead. I'm, I'm just. I'm uh, just yeah, that chick, that chick, good as well. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shout out to the chefs. Grandma, hey, 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 I can't wait to the grandma. 
DJ, yeah, yeah, we're DJ. He's not even a DJ. He got a stick of record every little way. He got, no, he got a record. He's never a DJ. He's never a Jamaican record. He's never a DJ. They party in his life. And he called himself DJ Academics. So, you know, come on, man, scrap. He's a DJ. We're not going to take over nobody around here. But he does make a good DJ when he's talking about what's going on. I respect him. I ain't taking up for him because DJ Academics, but I just brought it up because we were talking about Takashi 6ix9ine. You like the two, I can't be mad at you. Nah, I no, I fuck with DJ Gibbons for a long time, but recently, I, I nah, I don't fuck with what he doing now. I don't fuck with this cool. I, I, I tune to DJ, I, I like the desk, I, I ain't doing the desk, I want that dress. Shit, like, you know, I think yeah. he thinks he's a digital DJ. <laughs> Like the desk guy, desk guy. how you doing? The desk guy. You know, when you put that little stuff in there and it takes the same number of years around the city. He's a little party. He used to be that for the radio station and shit and all that points. Who? DJ Academics. That's how he came in. He's a DJ for the mixed CD, man. He's sticking up on the DJ. That's just in my cell. Hey, I don't know. We don't know the semantics of it. So you fuck with Takashi Six Nine after the interview? I respect you. No, 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 tell me, tell me. No, I never give me my point. I never made my point. We are gonna make sure every word. Is it game blowing anybody? He did, he did, he did. Who's gonna make like I was saying about Takashi? I watched the interview about Takashi, and uh, I was, this is what I think about Takashi when I'm talking about like, like, the, 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 the <laughs> But I always say about Takashi, I'm going to talk to you. My point about Takashi, I'm going to talk to you. We don't need to talk to you. We need to be listening. Y'all are talking, what we all talking while I'm talking to you. He's talking to you. I'm talking to everybody. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So, but when I'm talking to you, you're being while I'm talking, I feel like, okay. Oh, you talk. Let me talk right now. Okay, I'll let you talk right now. So, what I'm saying about the guy. <laughs> Let's go. Six nine, man. Six nine. Six nine. Yeah. <laughs> six nine. What the fuck? Cause six nine, your rainbow head ass. Yeah. Uh, I never heard his music. Never watched his videos. Never heard him talk. But I watch everybody talk shit about him and bash him or whatever. But when I watch his interview on the Breakfast Club, he let me know he ain't with that bullshit, man. You're not gonna push me over. You're not gonna sign me. I ain't with some bullshit. You don't know me, so scrap. You go 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 cut me with that nonsense. And I'm glad he handled Charlemagne them like that. DJ Envy and Angela, you a messy ass. Yeah, you're glad he handled them like that. Yeah, bitch, you need to get fucked anyway. Uh, re 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 reveal your boyfriend. You want to know everybody else's boyfriend? Reveal your boyfriend. But uh, yeah, it's just like this is what I feel about him. See, y'all talk about what y'all feel about him. Bitch, y'all always be on lip service. I never done that no, before. Uh, how about your, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, you talking about lip service. Bitch, what's up with your lip service? Is that right? I've never done that before. I never I tried that. What's your, you know, you do a podcast, lip service. What's up with your lip service? Talk to me. Can I be on your show? You know my show. Can I be on your show? What's up with your lip service? He's talking to you. Angela Yee. Hashtag. Angela Yee. You're up the club. Hashtag, but whatever. Can I be on your lip service to see what your lips are service for? You already got blocked by one of them. Oh, fuck. 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 Oh, D-Kickback Podcast Show. Ain't no podcast like this shit around here, man. I ain't the podcast, man. <laughs> <laughs> he leave, man. He's me everyday. He's me all day, man. Oh, he changed his name. 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 He changed I am a podcast called Kickback. Hey, I am the Kickback. So I'm like, the Kickback is really not Kickback. I mean, this shit like Kickback. Y'all should lie, though, for real. I appreciate it. But you know, I appreciate it. That's why I come here. I'm very happy. Every Sunday, no. <laughs> Every Sunday you come on the show, man. We get live with my record right here, man. It's a podcast show, man. It's a podcast show. We get y'all that shit.
Yeah, I yeah, man, I'm glad y'all on the show, man. Like y'all saying, y'all remember I was saying some shit, man. Y'all into God. I didn't interrupt you. No, no, no. We were done with that. We was oh, done with that. We was wrapping no, up no, with uh, lip service. Oh, lip service. Passing the parents. Old man, first down, man. Twenty year old in the day. See, man, talking to anybody about fucking sentence. Talking to shit. Got what I was saying. No, that be a hell. No, no. Got what I was saying, man. Damn. 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 Like Gary, hope this helps Gary. Gary, that's how you gotta say that. Yeah, hope this helps Gary. It's like Gary, yeah, this how you say it's like this whole world. It's like, you saying fuck. What's that with the ball? No, no, I'm saying simple. Stop saying it's like. I, I love it. Oh, yeah, so yeah, I'm yeah. really saying fuck you, Gary. But hope this helps Gary. Yeah. Cause we gotta well, we don't know who Gary is, but Gary is probably somebody. <laughs> who the fuck is Gary? He's a great awesome. Real youngster. He's a great awesome real youngster. He's a white man too, but we also learn. He's just a gorgeous. <laughs> See? See? Of course he's attractive. Am I right? Righteous youngster. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm oh, no. Gorgeous, attractive, righteous youngster. Yeah, well, he, like, he might be a whole lot of attractive. Anyway, I don't know. He, he, he don't got it when he got his beard. He got it when he got his beard. Time out, time out, time out. He's about to go. Time out, time out, time out. We got y'all probably wonder with the guy with the dreads and the glasses thing behind us, the guy with the blue rags thing behind us. Uh oh. They're not about to go do a drive by, I promise. They're not. <laughs> but these are rap guys. They rap. Tell these people who you are on the camera. Let them know how they can find y'all. Let them see your music and all that shit. And blah, blah, blah. And go watch y'all perform on the stage. Yeah. All right, yo. I'm Taz. This is Izzy. Yo, we are New Wave. One of one of our partners ain't no, today. You can add it. 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 Yeah, Facebook. And you got a co sign, y'all. You got a chicken over there saying, Say it again, girl. I am. I was telling on the town on YouTube. Facebook, you can find the music page, Soldier ENT. That's Soldier Entertainment, if you don't know. Instagram, you can actually find me at Taz Traptastic. Also, on also Snapchat, find me there. Taz Traptastic. Doing shit all day. What you got on your yeah, Snapchat? Yeah, I be doing it all, man. Either from like little stories from yeah, back when I was young, I might be uploading some music we working on, right. or I might just show you what I'm doing with my day. You huh? DM it? Nah, I can't, my girl, man. See, look, you try to get in trouble. Alright, I'm good. 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 Coming out of New York, upstate New York, Syracuse to be exact. Watch us SU right now in the Big Four. Big Four? March Madness, yo, we got this shit, man. And don't worry about me asking you freestyle. I'm not gonna ask no rapper to freestyle or none of that shit on my show. Fuck that, damn. It's not gonna go down. It's not gonna go down. I know people like, can I freestyle? <laughs> <laughs> Tell, tell me what the D want to have. Go just to my fucking album on Spotify, SoundCloud, go buy my shit. This how you make me rap. Fuck Word. that shit. Tell me. Do y'all do shows? Actually, we are. Uh, we trying to set up for one now. Where? How many have you done this shit? I'm actually trying to get at the uh, House of Blues, but I'm actually. I did a show. There. My last show is well, my last show. But yeah. I did a show at House of Blues. Yeah. But if you want to do a show, man, one more. can you do our TV? Uh, White Diamonds. Shout out White Diamonds. Give me my can dog. You, uh, can you book like, like, it? Can you get these guys in? You just show up there. I had uh, 346 okay. West Count Wisdom. Friday night. Open mic. You just show, show like this. Show around the show. Gators on Sunday. Oh, book up what you do. Before we go, man. I'm going to do. Gators on Sunday. Gators on Sunday. Gators on Sunday. Gators on Sunday. Gators on Sunday.
I never rapped the same man a long time ago. But I still, uh, it, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, coming out from New York, man, it's just like trying to network and find it all, man. So, speaking of rappers, since y'all rappers, you from New York, you from Dallas, right? Who inspired you and who inspired you? Oh, here we go. Man. I, I ain't gonna lie. Man, like a man. I'm gonna I ain't gonna lie. Man, I ain't gonna lie. Who you rapping to go sing it, by the way? What? Go sing it. Part that we can do. It's Slim Jam. Slim Award coming soon. How long we got before we do the Slim Award? I think we've been doing it. I don't want to be on the phone. I don't want to be on the phone. I'm chilling. 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 Not relaxing. Yeah, like Lori. Like Lori. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, chill. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Hold on, tell me, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, ladies, hey, hold on, tell me, tell me, y'all relax. This is content that needs to be said on the camera. And when y'all talking and doing the ad lib, it's cool, but at the same time, when he's talking to, he's saying, on me, boy. Anybody, you said, what's going to be said, you be heard. It's on me, Yo, who inspired you to get my bed? I don't want to suck an asshole, man. Just rest your voice, man. You're an asshole. No, I'm not. He's a little rap guy. 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 Rare act dude, dude. But for music, like just like listening, I have to go with T.I. T.I. Yeah. T.I. T.I. Yeah. T.I. T.I. Yeah. You be from upstate New York, where you get Niagara Falls somewhere. Who inspired you? Man, I said I have a couple. Most of all, I used to all listen to Wayne when he was in Hot Boys. I don't know what this be talking about. Yeah, I used to listen to Wayne. He's in Hot Boys, but. So I got the way it was while it was in the hot boy? Yeah, when he, when he used to be garbage. Yeah, no, when he wasn't garbage. He wasn't garbage. Yeah. He wasn't garbage. You know, you know his right. car two was worse than his first car, though. But then car three went, uh, uh. Alright, so look. Alright, you see his garbage. Yeah. Now, how old are you? Yeah, I'm 23. But that's, but you want to say what he's saying, right? Y'all know what he's saying, though, right? He's saying, he's saying that when he was in hot boy and he was young, that's what inspired him. Yeah. Not the music. I, yes. I, I, I'm not talking about the music. I'm not talking about the music. Well, if we're going to work here, it's fire, man. Uh, yeah. 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 For no reason, for no reason. Yo, it's all good. For no reason, okay. Time out, y'all rewind. Chill out. Time out. All right, like I said, rewind. <laughs> How old are you again? 23. 22. 23. <laughs> so when after you bag it up, then stop. What, 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 what? Drop it like it's hot. Mm -hmm. 1999. <laughs> Kid, How inspiration. How old was you with that? Oh, 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 oh. Oh, I, I was in like So why do you we expect saying. me from a to hear a guy say Lil Wayne was wet when he was four years <laughs> old? You hear Lil Wayne? He was wet. I can't respect uh, that. Oh, okay, okay. No, just, see, you got to let the shit ride. Let's just ride the wave and say, no, dude, call him baby. Because all you got to do is just ride the wave. I make a point every time I try to punch line the rap song. I'm not saying shit just to do it. All right, keep going. Watch your eyes on for me. It's cool. You don't got nothing for me. Hold up. You just got to do it. You got to reply. Hold up. You got to reply. Hold up. 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 Hold I see, he said Lil Wayne was whack back then. He said after you back up and stopped it, let us know he was hot right then. But that's your opinion. I would never go get your opinion. But the fact that you're 23 and you speak that statement, it's kind of like Lil Zane saying Tupac was disirrelevant. So that's another silly. Nah, it's just a fact. I look at that as progression as a artist. 23 years ago, uh, this, this whole, that verse was done 23 years ago. Yeah, but like, all right. That was probably done. Don't worry about that one. He needs some money to waste. So we're not gonna talk about it. 
Alright, but besides that, besides that, <laughs> all my people is actually actually in the music. Like I got my my uncle, he uh owns Woodsworth Productions. Next actually in New York. My uh cousin Sammy G, he do music, he actually doing stuff for fifty. I ain't supposed to say I ain't, I don't know who he is. But uh he is and then I got um Thumbin I said Thumbin does and Sammy G. So what's your, those is known what's your way, what, what, what are you trying to get them into your app, your music? What's your, what's your oh, stuff? What's my your whole stuff? target market is basically like your biggest crowd is your transitions from your high school kids to adults. Yeah, it, those, it, those are your biggest crowds you want to listen to. So you made a lot of shit with stuff. Yes. And party music, like man, party music. Man, that music. that's more like when my partner right here want me to do something, but that's more his He's style. Dallas. And yeah, that that's yeah. where Nigga we make that Dallas. little. That oh little man, it, I want to say with some level. Yeah, yeah, I love this shit. Hey. Man, I like that. You know what, don't yeah. I know what I'm talking about? Shout out to fucking Dallas, man. Dallas got the best fucking talent in the world, I think. We I do. with y'all. Right. right. I don't give a fuck what y'all say. He's a lot of talent around we Dallas. Come on, chill out. We just messing with you, man. But I'll get back to your question about inspiration. I'm going to have to take Lil Wayne and all them off, and I'm going to have to go with Aaliyah, and I'm going to have to go with Kalani. Hey! Who? Kalani. If y'all ain't heard Kalani, y'all need to go check yeah, her out because she is yeah. so dope. And so, Will you be singing them? No. What made you go with them as an inspiration? I, don't, I just like their music. Okay. I know, well, Leah back from, you, you know, know like, I like, like me, I like cousin. OJ's and Brady Bird with me. I do too. You know, I like the OJ's. All the time. She used to like Leah, I just started checking out. Yeah. Well, I'm just thinking, Cookie Man, I'm listening to OJ's, Brady Bird with me, Lucy Collins. Shit like that, man. The Poison Man, the new edition is silk. I, I just go. I, I, I might listen to some fucking uh. Wham. You know what that shit? That's the only I'm person I didn't know who you talking about. Get this shit and got no Senior skip day or freshman skip day, whatever we did, I, we hung out and we skipped school. I let my own boy say, "Cut it, man, rap for him, man, rap for these girls, man. He's a rapper, he's a rapper to cut." And I was, man, no, but I was, you know, let's get it. Just, I, I just went through so much adversity. It made me want to talk about my shit and my music. So as I started, you know, I've been rapping since I was 13. So like that, I don't even write my rap. I just. You can sit my head for like an hour and I just put it on paper. Put it on paper, bro. And, but like, I, I, I don't make dance songs. I mean, like, I, mean, I only make shit for the club, for the club, but I don't. I still shooting as a dance song. I didn't want to make that song. I hate that song. I hate that song. 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 Yeah, you know. I hate that shit. Y'all like that shit, though. Some people I, like, didn't I, like it the other year, but I like it. Uh, uh, I just think about that shit in the morning. I don't like it. I hate this song. What made you do a song? My son had said, my, my, my cousin, my, my brother said, do this song. And I asked him, she said, write some too. And I'm like, and I was like, it like, it was the last song I did on the album. Look up, James. She bought me out. Put it in the I'm not sure I'm sorry now. I didn't like ice cold shit. My brother told me to do that shit, man. To have that shit, man. I would do my album. I was gonna do my album. Well, I was gonna do it. Okay. Who cooked the chicken, man? I did. 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 I James, can you give me one of them five pieces? Uh, 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 uh. We have five uh, 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 I just want one. I don't tell you. Oh, you on the fire? No, no, no. I ain't said that. I ain't I ain't getting none, George. I promise I have names nothing all day. That chicken is fine. Hey. James, I want a piece of fried chicken. I don't fuck James like I just got here. Hey, 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 yeah. Hey, 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 yeah. 
James walked in and became a little bit. Joe, I know. Joe's talking about Asian. 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 Joe's yeah, I'm just saying. I'm sorry. Let me see y'all. Let me see. Yeah, I'll be right back. Oh, yeah, man, right? <laughs> see? She won't never look up at the camera. Look at me. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about you right here. No, 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 no. Back there, so no. <laughs> hey, y'all chill out for a second, though, man. I was doing a little ramble right quick, man. Y'all take the whole strip away, though, man. Strip away? The whole way? No, we. The first for backup. They said strip. Oh, because of the wings? What we saying? What we doing? What we doing? What we doing? You tripping? Wait a minute! You ain't tripping? You ain't finna keep telling me I'm tripping now. Look, we wasn't taking a stripper away at all. I was talking about. I was talking about something. We ended up going somewhere. I just wanted a piece of chicken. Get you a piece of chicken. I want one of them problems, and George won't let me have one. I don't know what the fuck going on. What's your name, man? Why y'all making this thing? Why y'all making this so hard, man? Come on. Somebody ask for something, get it, man. Why you that hard? The show, man. Y'all tripping, man. For real, though. You, you saw the egg right there. Like I'm sorry. Get real mad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. cool, man. They ask for chicken, man. Give us a chicken, man. Look at short. I'm fighting. I'm fighting. Right, we're, we're real serious right now because it's kind of like. I know you're doing it, so come on. Come on, we're man. Good. You just thought we were just chilling in the crib and stuff. It ain't like that. It's a show, man. It's a show, man. I want the homie to know that, too, though, because it's going to be too, you know. Relax around there, man. I don't want this shit. It's a show, man. It's, you know, I'm, I'm trying to make money out of this shit. Fuck it. You see? Fuck it. And doing all this type of bullshit ain't gonna make it happen. I'm sorry, Ryan, right? because I'm right. <laughs> I want y'all to disrespect your son. I know, man. But look, I told you. He's like keep making. You got food. Let me. I know, I know, I know, I know. But I told y'all to start when I'm talking to it, and, and you interrupt me. I can get what I'm about. To I don't say. think we be interrupting. I think we be coming saying with you. <laughs> What's up? Yeah, I forgot what I'm about to say. It's the whole point. Yeah. I was saying something very important. It ain't our fault though that you <laughs> that you forgot what you was gonna say. We talking with you. Like Why this. you talking? Like this. Now I'm saying we having a conversation. You really, you really, you really didn't, you really, didn't, you really didn't do that. You really just cut me off and started talking about some other things about the chicken. I no, I asked him slickly, James, when he walked in, can I have some chicken? I know that just cut the whole thing off because we went to some other place. James walked in. It ain't my fault. Yes, it is because you cut me off. We should have yeah. set up. But it ain't my fault if I if somebody. But I told you from the start though, you cut me off though. I'm gonna forget what I'm saying. <laughs> I told you that. You know what I told y'all from the start. I but you also said during the show if we ask for something we can I, get some chicken or something. I don't know. Shit. Let's get back to the show. I'm sorry. I just slickly asked James for some okay, chicken and everybody got, it, got it involved you know what, in though, it. You know what? Don't take it out. I know I'm about to go to the show. Do you know how long we got over? Man, just keep going. Yeah, we can keep going. 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 I got it now. I got it. 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 I don't got it. Uh, we got it in 20 minutes. 20 minutes. This is how I get it's called a kickback, y'all. This shit go down. It's shit out of the thing, right? Ain't no tournament type of going on. And we posting this shit. I can't wait to post it. 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 I can not wait to post it 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 i can
Y'all got a show coming up, by the way? Actually, I've been trying to get in contact with you. No, but we got a video shoot out on this. I need to I was asking about We got a video shoot. She can get y'all booked. She can go ahead with it. I don't know. Shit, that's the best woman. She got the shit. Most of it. Miss Awesome got y'all. So you make the holler, we'll go with her. She can get y'all, but they got some shit moving for real. So y'all really want to work. And y'all want to take the information. Yeah. And also, you want to hook up with them in it, was it be on their show? They like having guests. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. We do. All y'all here, we got a YouTube channel. We're going to have Jason on our show now because when they see this, when we put this out, they're going to be like, yeah, nigga, they're going to be like, oh, what the fuck? Oh, Jason is. I'm about to go fly, Tuddy. It's all about. If you watch this episode, whether you're new or old viewer, you should know what this show is about, man. You should know what to expect when you come on the show. And you should know, man, we're going to act a fool, man. We're going to be relaxed and talk shit and let you be yourself, man. It's what we do, man. You're going to see my little character head, Barbie's World, right here by me. Uh, Ryder Savage, you know what I'm saying? Ryder Cash Savage, Davis. Yeah, he's a good coach. Probably kept My coach. But yeah. We're going to see him on the show, man. Uh, I love this episode right here, man, because it's episode one of season two, man. It's going down. It it's right? called a new beginning, okay. man. I'm glad having these girls on here, man. And we love the energy, man. It should be like this every show, even worse or better. <laughs> <laughs> when I say worse, I mean like we just act we, we, mm -hmm. we, it might Somebody might have a fight up there. Who's <laughs> <laughs> you might, might fight up here. Like, it might be, it might be the world star. I had to move around, but we're going to be careful. Don't touch the light. Don't hit the lights in the camera. <laughs> <laughs> everything is around. You knock the pictures off, but don't knock the cameras off. Fight right here. Don't break your mind. Stay on the marks. Right. Do not go back. 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 And don't fight. Don't interrupt Jason for your fight, nigga. Fight around him. Fight around him. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, hey. She just ignored me again. <laughs> hey! Don't, don't, y'all, I'm sorry. Hey, don't you know fuck with Cuddy like that. Don't fuck with Cuddy. Don't fuck with Cuddy. Damn. Yeah, uh, uh, what hug that? My bad. My bad. That's yeah, good, though. Man, I ain't gonna call you with your brother. Yeah. You don't be naming this shit again. Now, yeah, they ain't a face who like this shit. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't telling you that. Sorry to interrupt, but that ain't even going on there. Hey, hey, Phil. Hey, Phil. Hey, 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 Miss Austin. Austin. Austin, yeah, 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 shit, yeah, show you something, bud. You good? 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 You uh -huh. yeah, 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 she, yeah, she help. With the blue one. She help with the whole thing. Be good. <laughs> I don't think so. Anyway, next show. We'll do that. Next episode, y'all will do that. We'll do Can we come back? Are we invited back? <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. You know, we invited back all the time, man. The kickback. <laughs> on top, all the people who not invited, man, the people who just not invited. <laughs>
And you know when you were on the crib. I mean, don't you not invite it. I'm going to go through there near you. Look at that. But no. Okay, see when we talking about all this crazy negative stuff, though. Uh, let me take my glasses off. We on, we on your way. Uh, the scram bitch one. And we close every show out with the Scram Award, man. You know, the Scram, Scram, Scram. You like, man, what, what, I like your shirt, man. When you get that shirt for real, man, you get a response to I'm like, no, nah, man, it's my shirt. It's my shirt. It's my, uh, my logo. And they're like, why is this shirt? I do a podcast. It's great. So uh, I do the, the Scram Beat Award. And Nika, Nika, Nico, Nico, she knows about it. Because she's she been paying attention for the last year. And the Scram Beat Award is like by Felicia. All that, you know, uh, get away from me. Get low. Bye. Yeah. Uh, bye, boy. What y'all say now? We don't know. We don't know. Bye. Bye. What do you know? 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 You're millennial. Okay, so to me, you are. But anyway, do a bye, Felicia, and I come out with Scram, bitch. Look what's up. The scram come from uh, like you watch Scooby Doo. Every time Shaggy and Scooby got away from the go there, scram too. Then the scram, the scram. Anyway, so I can't. Every for the last ten years, I've been saying scram. So my talk, t- tell me some boys. I just scram. Anyway, yeah. that's why I give the scram big award out every week on the podcast, and I allow my guests on the show and people who are this or the audience who are attending the show to get their scram award out. And you can call out names because nobody watches the show anyway. So I call out names. So you can call out names you want to. It doesn't have to be a person, it can be a situation, a team, uh, a company, uh, a headache, a sickness, whatever. It's a scram bit. You want to just get away. Bye. Get away from me. So do you have a scram bit award? Or should I come to you later or should I start with? No, I got one I just thought of. Scram bitch award is going to your neighbor across the fucking uh from your house, that fucking lady. <laughs> Every time I pull up to her motherfucking house, this lady comes outside on the phone arguing or she I was mad. And I was today I was when she did it today, she was very loud and out and boasterous about what her point was. No, I'm not gonna win. I was like, damn, I didn't even do that first. And then I was like, is she doing that shit every time on purpose so I can think they got problems? <laughs> so I'm saying scram, bitch, because scram. If you gotta walk outside of your motherfucking house, your own house, to argue on the telephone with another motherfucker, you need to scram. Then what that scram. Means? Scram your motherfucking ass at your own motherfucking spot. Or no, tell the other motherfuckers to get out. Stop coming outside arguing on your goddamn telephone every time I pull up. Damn, bitch. What's the point? Scram. Shit. Sorry. Damn. Awesome. Since you're so awesome. So you're, since you're so awesome. I already told y'all what mine is. You want to hear it again. Okay, I'm talking about the, the natural people that wear that much <laughs> makeup. I just yeah, don't that. understand. If you natural, just be natural. Like, you can't just pick your poison. Are you I, I want to be natural. Okay, I still you show up. Right. Okay, I got it. Uh, so, you know, I was like, they want to be natural. I think you replaced your own. You're stress. overcompensating now. But they threw the whole uh, rep line. Right. Like, the rep line kick. The rep line. So they're not going to be natural. Right. Well, they, 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 they don't want to be They don't use Just For Me or TBC. TCB Right. I'm wearing my long ass braids. I'm going to throw a bunch of we're up to and I'm for me. And Mac, all oh, that shit, okay, all right. Okay, yeah, y'all, 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 y'all really scram. scram. It's kind of like, it's kind of like, it's kind of like, it's kind of like, like, can I get sweet tea and have unsweet tea? Right, no. Get a bag of sweet milk, bitch. I'm going to be nasty. And you good. Right. Scram. Yeah, 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 scram. Look at how many hair uh, she got in our head. New York, New York, New York, New York. You got scram? Oh, you know how to have one. That's cool. You know what I mean? Nah, not right now. Besides just this cost, yo. We do have one there. You do have one. <laughs> Yeah, Takashi, I just can't fuck with his music. Yeah, Takashi, 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 now, 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 now,
he wants to tell the, uh, he looks like he want to tell the, uh, <laughs> what's that going on there? That's Slim, that's Slim, hold up, John. No. What is that doing, that Slim? No. Slim, sit down, man, Slim. Look at the Slim. Slim, man, hold up, time out, 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 y'all. No, it's the kickback. Slim, what's going on, man? You got to be going on. Come on, man. What's going on? What's going on? I ain't there. What's going on? What's going on? No, 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 no. Hey, y'all, by the way, allow me to reintroduce myself. My name is Cutty. What's going on, y'all? Everybody, everybody cool? Everybody cool? Yeah. Everybody cool? All right, cool. It's the kickback, man. Everybody cool, right? All right, cool, cool. All right, come on up. I like all the extra shit. That's what I'm gonna say. Say we'll get a crown, crown, get the watch. I'm gonna get to my boy Ray in the blue rag. What's up with the cup? Make sure y'all be around me so I can. We gonna show, we gonna show, we getting everybody around. Ain't no secrets around this bitch. The kickback. I'm gonna have to go back to the Monique situation. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Monique situation. Yeah, 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 Monique situation. Or ask for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So scram, 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 yeah. Uh, I mean, but scram still on, scram on small to get so much when you're, you know, yeah. time has changed yeah. a little bit. You know, if you want to get back in there, then you can make yourself get back to that status that you were at. But right now, you can't expect that even if you're a legend in the game, you know. And right. It, it changes, so, you know. So scram on it with that bullshit. Yeah. Andy said, "Let's." We need Pat Luther back and we need folk back. But well, I, I still love Monique, you know. But that, 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 that's what's up, you know. Uh, but, you know. But, but, but she got a big ass butt too. All right. Big ass. Come on, you scram, Monique. Yeah, put the bullshit. Come on, boy, cut Netflix. What are you scram? What are you scram? Oh, I'm going to ask you about that. Yeah, how you want them to cut off a whole? Who's next? Who's next? Where's your head on your show? He got a scram. You know, we got a scram. Who's next? 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 Who's next?
Mosquito got to get out of here, baby. Mosquito. Them Mosquito. Like, yeah. Take yeah. my yeah. 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 You want to get out your Instagram yeah. and all that? Huh? It's a mosquito, bro. Mosquito, I know that. Yeah, but they just want to give out an Instagram. No. Oh. You know what chicks say? My Instagram, you follow me on 998754. <laughs> 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 Alright, Joe, you got a scratch. Bro, scram bitch to the old man who fucking stretched next to me on the mat. <laughs> what y'all bitch at? To all oh, day. What they do? What happens? They be stretching next to him when he wants That's the same way I feel too. It's like a, it's like a little mat about maybe two people, but you know. Well, why is the old man looking at everybody? Well, I already did the old man. Why is the old man laying on the mat next to you with you being another man? <laughs> I'll be there. I'm just I'll saying, George, you yeah, go off. I'm, I'm throw, bro. I always go to the back by myself. And then it'd be like random weird ass people like close to me. Oh, people Wait, like the top of the You know, I can, I can use your invest in your work. Right? <laughs> you should invest in your oh, work. God is testing at your kid. Got my back. <laughs> no, nah, no. Nah. Hey, you know what? But y'all know it, man. Cut the slam. Your boy, your boy, your boy, your boy, your boy, your boy. Slam, bitch, king. Well, you know my experiments go out to all y'all, all y'all, all y'all, all y'all hating motherfuckers, all y'all dudes. They talk shit about other dudes around girls and shit, just get a pussy and shit. Y'all don't get a pussy. So we spread to y'all. Let's go to y'all. Spread to all white chicks, dick, all black chicks, and ratchets because they black. Y'all ratchets too. Y'all are ratchets also. Y'all are ratchets before y'all get ratchets. Y'all are ratchet. It's time to y'all, y'all need to scrap each one too. And all that. One more, baby. One more. I got two more. I got two more. I got two more. Square. Square. Goes out. The motherfuckers that just don't want to get their mind right. They want to shine right. I'm going to tell y'all good night. On the count of three, we're going to all tell y'all to square. One, two, three. Square. In other words, go fuck yourself.